look nice. Thanks. I feel like it's a bit too formal, but I don't want to look like I don't care. Mm. No, I think it works. Maybe just not with those earrings. Yeah, you're right. They don't really say respectable writer, do they? Mm, they're a bit big. Anyway, I'm off. Don't forget your business cards. You think I have business cards? So they were totally unacceptable. But with a few useful contacts, I managed to get some more reliable sources. It's all in who you know and what you can do for them, of course. <laughs> So are you in university right now? Yeah, I am. I'm studying at Central Academy London. It, it's been really interesting. How's it going, guys? Hi. Hi. I'm Hi. Adam Campbell. Good to meet you. Jordan. Eloise, nice to meet you. So we're both writers, I assume? Yeah. Lovely, lovely. Anything in the works right now? Well, um, I have a few rough drafts, but I'm mm. working on this futuristic sci-fi novel right now. Oh, nice. What's it about? So. It's about this space engineer, mm. and he's stranded on a different planet with almost no working tech. Mm. And um, as he travels from planet to planet, he meets other people like him, and they slowly form this little space community. Fascinating. That's really interesting. I love the concept. Here is my card. Oh, thank you. If uh, you ever want to chat about ideas, drop me an email. Are you working on something at the moment, too? Uh, yeah, uh, I've been writing a short dystopian novel based on the class system, mm. um, but it's more extreme, so uh, the welfare system works differently. Um, great stuff, great stuff. Well, good to meet you guys. See you around. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to make you jump. It's fine. Are you ready for this shift later then? Yeah, yeah, I am. You know you're locking up, right? Yeah. Any empties? Yeah, Any empties? One room. Thank you, Bob. away um, and I looked outside and there was this guy looking at me from across the street and I was just gonna lock the door and he's like standing right outside he's literally crossed the street to go and stand right outside I just I don't... okay shit is he still there no um, I can't see him anymore I can see um, a car parking down the street okay go out now while there's someone there stay on the phone with me you're gonna be fine Hi, 
please. I saw your email about what happened last night. I'm sorry you felt like that. The situation is, I can't bubble wrap your job for you. I, I was locking up when I was your age, in an empty building, and I know lots of people that do that. Okay, it's just that anything could have happened, you know, I'm a young woman and he could have pushed me back in, and now I just don't feel safe. It's not a situation of because you're a woman that would have happened. It, it could happen to anyone. If a young man was on that ship, it would have been the same situation. But... Also, why didn't you call me? If anything like that happens, you should call me straight away. Or, or worst case scenario, wait and call the police. Okay, I just panicked and I was really scared um, and I didn't think to... Well, that's the protocol. I'll look into the shifts for you, but... I think it would be better to see if this happens again first. It, it just seems a bit much to change shifts over. Can we talk about this in person? Alright then. Wow, nice dress. Thanks, I'm not wearing it. Why? You look stunning. I just... I just feel like it's a bit much, you know, don't you think? Like, it's a bit booby and super short. So what if it is? If you feel good in it, you should wear it. Mm. I'd fancy you. But is it not a bit showy? F fuck that! Honestly, you should wear what you want. Mm. I guess I do look pretty good in it. I honestly think the melody's the most important part. I mean, think about it. There's no song without a melody. Yeah, but if a song doesn't mean anything, then what's the point? Yeah, the tune is what makes it, but I don't think I'd want to listen to a song if the lyrics were bad. Mm, I'm gonna have to disagree with that. I mean, even our band's new manager Wait, just don't. you've been signed? Oh, yeah, yeah, like a few weeks ago. Wow. Mm. Yeah, no, our manager's sound. I mean, it can be a little bit, um... Let's just say he might be nicer to work with for us than he would be for you. What do you mean? I don't know, he's just a bit funny with the women at the studio. Funny? Yeah, I, I just get the vibe that he doesn't think they're as good as the men that work there. I see, so he's a misogynist then. Yeah, you could say that. Well, I hope you're not one. <laughs> I'd like to think I'm not one. I don't know that you're not one too. And well, I am a woman. Yeah, well, women can be misogynistic too. I mean, yeah, I guess, technically, but there's more prejudice or embedded patriarchal views, don't you think? Yeah, my sister tends to be a bit anti-feminist sometimes. Really? In what way? Huh? Um, I don't know, she, she tends to think that it can get quite silly sometimes. You know how they say that we don't need men in society anymore and, yeah. Yeah, but you do know that's not actually feminism, right? Yeah, yeah, I, okay, I like to think that I'm a passive feminist. I'm all for it and I think it's great, but I'm not gonna go around shouting about it. I, I don't think anything's gonna change, to be honest. But how can anything change unless we do something about it? Yes, I agree. Um, I think me and you should be... Equal? Equal, yeah, equal. Just because I'm male and you're a female, what difference is there really between us? Yeah, it's great that you're a feminist. Yeah, everyone should be, right? Mm. Honestly, I like that you have opinions about such things. <laughs>